This video we will download and install PHP MyAdmin and installation of PHP uh, MyAdmin is very similar because we will uh, also going to use um, sudo yum although there is one repo that we will need to enable so I will do sudo yum double double um, I mean double slash and then I will type enable repo equals epal okay and then I can do install php my admin like this sudo yum uh, enable repo epal install php my admin I hit enter and it's going to download php my admin it wants me uh, to confirm that the installed size is 20 megabyte I'm okay with this yes downloading packages here we go uh, installation is complete and um, we will also need to create a symbolic link so I will do sudo ln from the location of user share php my admin where php my admin is currently installed to var my apache uh, web folder html php my admin like this okay hard link not allowed for directory oh i'm sorry i've missed um we need a soft link uh double i mean dash s okay here we go uh, so um symbolic link is created and it should work let me copy the folder and then i can cd to it ls here we go all the php might be files are here okay now we need to configure our php my admin and uh, we will need to um open php my admin configuration file again i will use sudo nano and uh, i will uh, need to open its configuration file etc httpd and then configuration and php my admin dot config like this so sudo nano edc httpd config dot d php my admin conf okay so i hit enter yes this is the file and in this file we will need to replace this ip address which is 127.0.0.1 with the ip address of our current location um so that no one else except us can connect to it okay so i will look up the uh, tag of my currently running server uh, the um, tag is security video course um, security group so i will go to a security groups and this is the very first one so i can uh, go and look up at the inbound um, security group configuration and i see that i have allowed connection from my ip address this is my currently my ip address where i'm currently located uh, i'll copy it another way is to simply google my ip address and it will bring up some resources click on the first one myipaddress.com and it brings up your ip address uh, okay, so uh, we have our IP address and we can go back to our file and uh, we will replace require IP address with our local IP address for location allow from my IP address and require my IP address. Okay, so I need to save this file. So I'll do control O and then hit enter and now control x okay here we go and clear uh, now we can uh, test it and before we can connect to php my admin because we did some changes to php my configuration file we will need to restart http service so we will um, do sudo uh, service i'm um, sorry httpd restart okay so we should now be able to connect to php my admin and i will go uh, back to my um, ec2 dashboard 
and uh, here I have public DNS of my uh, currently running instance. So I will select public DNS, open up a new browser window, type HTTP and then paste this public DNS and then do PHP my admin. And now I have PHP my admin login and here we need to provide username with which we want to log in so that could be um, by default it's root we did not create any new users so uh, it's root and the username which we've set up while we were creating um, while we were installing my sql database so uh, i've created a password during my uh, sql installation and i hope it's going to work Oh, cannot log in. Let me try again. Okay, so I'm in. And PHP my admin is installed and we are ready to continue.